sunshine, it's time to climb and never stay. Hey, Jason. Hi, TMZ. Hey, does it look the prettiest at 5 o'clock in the morning? I can only open the face. His name is Jason. <laughs> and there's Mark looking very fresh. Oh, and you would look pretty fresh because every night he goes to bed about 10 o'clock. You know what I mean? This young 33 year old specimen is like an athlete. He smokes 15 rollies before breakfast. Bowls of cards, bowls of cereal. He's ready for Navis. He's ready for Navis. I even brought gel for his hair. Because he doesn't want to take a bad foley up there. No. But I've got bad news for him. He's an ugly little. So, gel's not going to help. Jason. Yeah, it's all jokes aside, when, when we are hitting the mountain then, it'd be a nervous bit in Britain's biggest mountain, we do have snow on the top of it. Parts of this is a hard climb, so what sort of things do you want to be thinking about before you climb a mountain, I guess? Basically, one, one major big thing here is foot care. Yeah, you want decent boots that's going to fit well, you want the blister plasters in case you're getting blisters and stuff like that. Because the, you know, your feet are this thing that's going to get you out of fucking trouble. Your feet and your legs. And you're going up close wise. Basically just look this up yourself on the internet. You want a seven layer system, okay? There's, there's snow up there, there could be wind up there, there could be fucking rain up there. You'll have four different seasons in one day. So you want a layer system, so <clears throat> if you're going up it's too warm, you can take one layer off until you find your optimum fucking level of temperature. So you're just nice and warm, but you're not sweating. <clears throat> you're sweating the summit with you know freezing conditions and cold wind will bring your skin temperature down, and you will die of fucking hypothermia. Just, just don't be fooled with that. And it can happen even, in, even back at home in some of our smaller mountains. This stuff can happen. Uh, only on the talking about feet cure as well. <clears throat> toenails, keep your toenails short. Because if you're hiking for long distances, you know, all during the day, your feet have a tendency to swell. And your feet have a tendency to swell and your toes get pushed together, you can start losing toenails. Which then, if you're out for days, then can become a problem with infection and stuff like that there. So, four big hikes too, the night before, you want to be scoffing up on the high calorie food. Usually good high starchy food that's gonna, that's gonna hold your energy <clears throat> and same with a good breakfast as well like that and then what you want for the day obviously you want some good food during the day as well but you want some nice nice shitty stuff <clears throat> jelly sweets, peanuts, bananas uh, just whatever takes your fancy but got up some good food in there too so that's just the best advice I can good footwear, layer system, well fed the night before Obviously, know a little bit of mop work and uh, life will be good up there. So, we'll see you when we get to the base. Right, so today we're going to do Ben Navis. Uh, there's the three of us doing it. We come over to do it nicely as a team and as n not for a race. So, we're going to enjoy our walk up it and enjoy our time. For the likes of myself, I may come back here again <laughs> because I'd like. I would like to know how fast I can get up that mine, uh, as an individual. Well Gage, that's us at the Navis Inn, ready to rock and roll and, and do Ben Navis. So let's give you just a little quick look round of what's here. He's excited boy. <laughs> I am like I'm buzzing. There's the Ben Navis uh, weather forecasting stone. So what's it going to do today? <laughs> Stone jumping up and down, earthquake. Nah. Right. Things are going to be okay the day. I think we're going to have better views than what most have. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's fucking kneel, Nevis boys. You come from the Ben Nevis Inn, you come across the sign. Ben Nevis. That away. I guess the path's pretty well marked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna fucking bullshit you and say that you could do this at in bad fog or anything. You still wanna come up here with a bit of skill behind you, you know, mop reading around anything if you need it. So just keep that in mind. 
got the mist in the valleys. And down in here we have uh, we have the River Nevis. So once you get it up and all we bet and we'll get somewhere nice and we'll we'll have an all we video and a look about. Just where we are now, this is where the two paths meet. This path here is down to the youth hostel. I think the path we have come up is known as the, the mountain path. So, for the steepness of that, I would prefer the mountain path. I don't know about you. Mountain path. Because that looks a wee bit brutal, like, do not it? We're starting off town here, up your car. True, true. On we go anyway, young young hikers. It'll be nice to have the snow up there, lads, won't it, like? Yeah. Well, it's probably some snow and daughter, isn't it? Nah, I don't know. Yes. What a few weeks ago, like? Uh, yeah. Just behind us, way down there, is uh, Fort William. What's the taxi cost us to the Ben Navis pub? Nine quid. But they know we're tourists. Mark did try to put on his best Scottish accent. He was going to charge us 15 to retire him, we're only joking. But sure. So remember folks, you're going to start this, start getting a bit of fitness up in your life over winter if you're not going to start climbing mountains in winter. Get some fucking fitness going in the winter. You know, what else are you going to be doing? So get out there, start pushing the body in winter and then start getting out in places I guess in the summer. It doesn't always have to be the biggest mountain but get out there on the trail. And as you always say, adventure more, explore more and start living. We're coming along just the first wee bridge we come to. Here it is. Here it is maybe from a different angle that you would normally see it from. Pretty nice sir. Ah beautiful it's some view like. Uh, let's go down there to give you a look at you know. Uh, rivers flowing hard. They burn mind in winter this thing would probably be going like probably be going like a mad thing. You know, coming from the likes of that. I don't know where, where, where down there. Going good lads, going good. Stopping smoking for me uh, has been the biggest help really. Pretty good, feeling good. Loving life baby. Absolutely stunning. Someday I'll come back and I'm going to do a really quick on my own. But these guys are putting in a good effort to sort of stand to do with them. Like, I just want to do it fast, you know. Thank you, boy. Yeah. Big chase, boy. He's away, boy. He's fucking taking no prisoners today. You get up here, or once you come up, sort of zigzaggy bit there, a good bit of zigzaggy bit. There is a nice little breather here on, on a bit of flat ground, and then we can see the people coming across, and we'll cross the river up here just where, where the snow is up here.
Yes, I will tell you this like the path is really really fucking super well marked the chances are you, like you won't get lost in this even on a foggy day but don't be fucking coming up here if you're an idiot and have some sort of skill have your kit right you know what I mean because people people do die up here believe it or not Guys, when you come up here, the rack in this lake is about the halfway point. It's not just exactly the halfway point. The halfway point is more when we cross the river over there. But this is, I suppose, it's a good, just an indicator. So we're getting there. We may go for a swim there later. But welcome to the beautiful Ben Navis. The snow in the mountains. So. When you come up the hill a bit, it's not too hard walking coming up here. You get this little tiny small break before the lake. Yeah, it's not actually too much of an incline here, lads. Sure, it's not like. But I'm sure somewhere along the line it's going to get steeper again. This is the actual river across here. You can see some of the water. So, pretty nice walking. I'm saying this thing here in the winter, to come across this in winter, it, it's full flowing in water, like, so it can be dangerous crossing that in winter. So, just be careful of it, you know. Like just as we're walking this here, like <coughs> it, this part of the track here is, is where it gets just a little bit harder. It's just because it's rock here. To be quite honest, I think Donald at home is a harder walk than this. And that's being quite honest. This isn't actually too bad. Sure it's not bad? No. Well, I mean, we're only on the meter point now, like. So. But still, uh, Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a nice big walk, like. You're on your fitness level. You probably make it, man. Fucking look at that, folks. Look at that. The highlands are its finest. Hi. Who said the skipper didn't know how to do it? Huh? Who said the skipper didn't know how to do it? Get out of it. Who said? Uh, the skipper. So oh, just in here to let you know, you're not picking really up much here. Like as we enter the Caledonian Canal, where it takes you out onto the east side of Scotland. And you can see a big place known as Neptune Staircase, which is a, a series of lock gates. But today's a mountain day. Yeah. Good going. Good going, going well. Join it. Join it. Yeah. Quite honest, that would be easier. It's easier to sleep fucking didn't you? Yes, I'm gonna show you guys something that may be a bit shocking, but that's what they call a sweaty ass. <laughs> no up on our folks. Love to do this place in the winter.
summit is going to be perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. Remember, guys, if you're not doing this carry on in the winter, start getting your fitness up in winter. Start getting good scrum down your neck. Get the cardio going. Fucking light weights, high reps. Start pushing the body. Eat good. And when it comes to summertime, when you're coming out to go adventure, you're fitter, you've got the edge, and you're more mentally, you're mentally stronger. Not only that, it's good for your mental health. So listen guys, don't lie about in your bed, don't lie about in the couch. One bad day is fine, two bad days, no. Start going, get up there, one foot in front of the other, and keep going. And soon, you'll be a fucking top of the world. The sort of snow that you need to be careful for is coming up here is when it melts and then freezes again because it gives you like a layer of ice so just be wary of that if there's stone conditions and then freezing at night that this can be very dangerous okay Stop smoking and doing a bit more cardio, me thinks. Uh, the summit's up yonder. Uh, fucking very, very beautiful. Indeed. Yeah. Remember, guys, if there's days are going through shit days, don't sit in the house. Don't over fucking think. Get out there. As I always say, the hardest part is getting out through that door. One foot in front of the other foot. Keep moving. And I'm telling you, you've half of it beat. So get out there, explore more, adventure more, and start fucking living. You only have this one life. Just, just as it's starting to clear, we we'll have these like markers on the go up the hill. So these are the things that you want to be watching for, especially in whiteout conditions. If you come up here in the winter, they're very close together, so they may be on some maps, some of the charts. And if you're in whiteout conditions, my best honest advice for you is to take a burn in each each one of them and walk to each one. I wouldn't even worry about variation on your on your chart because it's only over about 50 meters. Your variation won't be off really at all, to be fact. So keep that in mind. So it's like it's like easy when you're coming up that mountain. Like it's a lovely day. It looks lovely, and then you come up here, and then you start getting. Mist down now. Shit could still happen today. Like that, great crowds like that. We could get heavy rain. We could get strong winds. Uh, 
and super freezing temperatures and what's going to happen up here it'll become a whiteout the temperatures will drop not only that with the wind chill factor it may maybe come down to about minus 20 minus 30 and it will kill you so just don't think because it's nice at the bottom it'll be nice at the top and just a small amount of fitness is is a must like it, it's a must if you want to if you want to enjoy it it's a must lads looking lads lasses fellow youtubers fellow hikers fellow mountaineers look at that That man can hardly breathe up there, and he says he can't wait till he gets the smoke. Folks, I used to smoke a lot. I'm going to tell you, quitting was the best thing I've done, and I've only quit a short time. Don't get me wrong, I still crave them, but I feel good. I feel really good. And see, for you younger generation out there, and you see what society's telling you about going on the piss, oh, I can't wait till the pub's open to get a pint, oh, smoke bangs, smoke fucking drugs, take drugs. Get a fucking grip. Get out of here, la. Top of the fucking world. Get out of here. Have real stories to tell. Do real things. Don't waste your fucking life. And at one stage in my life, that was the biggest fucking waste of space ever. From the back. Smoking, drinking, pissing about. Please, get out there. Start enjoying life. Just do it. It's good for this too. We're about 400 metres from the summit. 400 metres? Yards, he said. So about 350 metres or so, I'd say, and around that. Get a good smoke up there, Mark, so. Ah? Probably. Probably, my ass. <laughs> he's choking for a fucking bang. What do you see he's for his bang? He'll book his guts up. Well, good effort anyway, lads. Good day for it. Good adventure. I was going to say, couldn't have done it with any two better people, but then I thought, never give these sort of individuals praise, because <laughs> they're too good for nothing. Scoundrels! Fucking scoundrels you are! No, they're not really. They're not really. They're all right. I'm recording, so I see. See what I mean? For a look at this guy. Unreal lad. Yeah. The old uh, like I think it was a weather station up here. There's the summit stone lads. Ooh! Hey, man. Well done Mark. Yeah. Well done my son. Well done to you man. Yeah, that's right, old I would love to spend the night up in here, but she's a bit dirty. This is the hut and top of Navas. Same here. A bit quicker than these boys. These boys need to quit smoking. <laughs> Pretty cool to have, man, in the UK without drugs. <laughs> oh. Amazing, isn't that? Would you mind taking a picture of me?
last mile in the UK. Well, what are you rocking, lads? Like it? Yeah. I swear I'd love to spend the night in there in a storm now. Like. Fully kitted, like. Morning. I have a storm, has me in, in the UK, so back down we go. It's pretty cold. A few other guys up. So, back down we go. Yeah. What I'm telling you, it is, it is really is an easy walk up here. But down below there, it's pretty warm. You come up here with the wrong kit. If you hang around these summits too long, yeah, you will, you, you like, you will get hypothermia, and you will get fucking things will happen up here. So, <clears throat> if you're coming up here in the winter. I can assure you, make sure you have the right gear. Uh, or coming up early season, just have the right gear, you know. And uh, but coming down here, just thinking there, you know, just you know, time to think. I remember years ago, like me and a mate, Kenny Brown. Me and Kenny used to do a lot of well, it was every weekend in life, basically, yeah, but only in the winter. And uh, we used to camp in the Moorn Mountains every winter for a duration of the whole winter. And this was way back, maybe 25 years ago. And then a goal was to come over here and do Ben Nevis in winter, but we never got doing it. So, Kenny Brown, I know you watch the videos, or right, yeah. James, he done it up top for us anyway. Burn <laughs> you mad thing! <laughs> oh, the big James! There's my phone. We get my phone. The phone. The phone's going down. No chance. Fucking phone went further. You went down it like a bullet there. Go for it. What? <laughs> You're like a fucking four year old in Appa. <laughs> 30, well fucking, 30 fucking three he is. Well done, fat boy. Thirty-three or three. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fucking another guy there, but I'm gonna done the wrong one. There was the one I wanted to do, lah. There we fucking still ends up going there, but. Oh no! The night, hell yeah, friends. It wasn't nice. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> well done, those men. Fucking cycle pass. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. In heaven, feel alive. Nothing else up here matters. You're breathing fresh air, you're living life. Got mental pro fucking men mental health problems, right? Fuck what people think. Fuck what the doctors tell you. Fuck what your psychiatrists tell you. You know what? The best fucking healer of all is out here. Remember drugs and fucking tablets and all the shit they give you. It doesn't fix your illness. It fucking masks it and they make money off you. Get outside, explore more, adventure more. 
because this is what our human body is designed to be out in nature. So please folks, promise me, you ever feel shit, you want to fucking just get out there, just get the hell out there, get into nature. And look at that, Ben Nevis. It's in striking distance to any of you guys in the UK. I'm sure you guys anywhere else in other places of the world have better places. So get out there, explore more, adventure more, and live life. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Flat out. Here, stop, stop. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. We did you see him hitting the rock. Yeah, you better crack coming down, in luck. So. Better crack, won't I? Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. A lot of walkers starting to bump now. Oh, oh fucker. Oh, <laughs> yes. So we're asking a minute. <laughs> It's 33 like, you wouldn't drink it, but it is 33 like. It's an absolute rat packet. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that wise, yeah? That's him in a bag. Much easier, isn't it? Yeah. Walk down's a fucking dabble. Oh, walking so. up a van. So, don't worry about the walk down. When you get to the top, you'll, you'll just fly down. Start early and you'll avoid most of the walkers. Absolute pure heaven coming down this big bike, isn't it? Yeah. There's not even sore in the knees. Nope. But uh, honestly, it is pretty easy until near the top and then it's still easy at the top, it's just a bit more rock here and if you have a lot of snow it's hard to, to walk in the snow and like I was saying up there, <coughs> if it thaws and, then fr and the snow freezes again it can be hard but all this path and all, it's a, it's a piece of cake, pretty easy walking but as I say, you still always need a bit of fitness, I know what you're thinking You know <laughs> if that lad can bring that unborn thing well, up it. the mountain, anyone can do it. Back down is gentle and beautiful and warm, believe yeah. it or not. Looks a bit nicer on the way down, but that's some chunk of snow sitting up there. You can imagine sort of water coming down this, say, say when there's winter. You need to be very careful here at this crossing in the winter, especially after a ha uh, heavy rain. You could vanish the way down there very quick. Just really sort of basically to finish off with coming out of this Ben Nevis place is yeah. Uh, that's the River Nevis, you can see it a lot better now. And I'm guessing that would be like the Glens of Nevis or the Glen of Nevis. But that's the Nevis River. Of the video, you seen me coming up here, and I showed you that nice sign and that pointing to Ben Nevis. We'll take a look. Some tow rags broke it off to bring it home, huh? Broke the other sign off too. Like, if you do come across my YouTube video and you're in the mountaineering and you're with the tow rag that ripped that off, I'm just gonna tell you how it is. You're an absolute fucking ball bag. Hope you're proud of yourself when you hang it on the wall. Like, you know, it's that's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Oh, that's Nevis finished. Nevis finished, lads. You aren't feeling too bad. No. I think I, you're coming down with something, mate. You're not, you're not going to be like this, lad. Like. I'm fucking shattered, to be honest with you. But anyway, what? That's the highest mountain I've done. That's the highest mountain I've done. It's not the highest mountain I've done. It's not the highest mountain I've done now, to be fair. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. So. 
He's half mountain dog. Still for a bit of snow up there. It's a long time ago to be fair. Like. No, no, yeah. There is, yeah. As you'll find out from the, the slidey <laughs> fucking videos later on. <laughs> it's the enjoyment of walking up. It's, it's the easiest mountain I've walked up in my life. Aye, the longest, but easiest. It's actually easy walking. Overall, like, it's easy fucking yeah. walking. Like. Yeah. Toughest part, when you summit, and the summit's further on, it's fairly heavy snow still. I with the snow. That was probably the hardest part. Probably before. because we didn't look expect, you know. Yeah. You know that way. I mean, if you'd have had crampons or a set, you know what I mean? You'd have been fucking through that in half the time, like, but air up, we didn't know. But, uh, but overall, you know, we didn't do it too bad time. We're up and down in what, six hours? Ah, uh, we were just up. No, really. If you take five, off. Five and a half hours. If you take off. Four hours up, two hours, twenty minutes down. And uh, take off the stoppages for videos and. So I've seen all the videos James has done, so there'll be a bit of stopping. There's video a lot on. of fucking video going on, but yeah. obviously you start the beast strolling, you have to continue. I actually hope that you appreciate this video more because it, I've, I've watched a few videos on Navis and it just doesn't give you as much detail. You're seeing a lot of the paths there, but you can see those fucking paths. You can go up there and have a fog and not lose your way. Do it first. Bar, bar, well. bar, bar the wee bits on the top where the sort of them marker bits. When the crowd comes in, they're maybe too far apart. Here, uh, but they have a good visibility. And some kids we couldn't see the next one, you know. Yeah. So if it, I mean, if that was heavy cloud or whatever else bits come in, uh, you would you would struggle. And I mean, there's a cliff, but <laughs> freaking ten meters to your to your left, back, so. And it's not a fucking wee cliff. It's not a wee cliff. So, but yeah. Was good and enjoyed it. I absolutely enjoyed it. Overall, it was a good trip up to Fort William. We came here to do what we said we done, and we fucking done it, so... Ben Abbas is done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I've up. known this man 20 odd years, and this is the worst neck I've ever seen him in my life. He yeah. even refused to paint today. It turned out to be all. I just wanted to, cook. I wanted to come back and my cocoon in here. <laughs> And then I, I left my sleeping bag out fucking dry and sitting <laughs> at it in the videos. My fucking quilt soaked with the stove lid again, but I ain't gonna do my quilt much greater.